Hello Internet! In my last video I told you about AutoML, Auto Machine Learning, and here we have now the code for a classification example. We are working on Databricks, Machine Learning Persona. We have here a file, this is original from Databricks, and we now load a CSV file from Databricks to datasets already preloaded. And we create a Spark data frame, just to have a short look. The Spark data frame, what is the schema of the Spark data frame? What value does it have? Let's have a look. So results, oh, come on. Yeah, work class, education, status, occupy. So this is the data set provided by Databricks. And then, of course, as you know it, we split it in a train data frame and in a test data frame. And then we start, and this is a very, very one line command. You're gonna be amazed. The auto ML run, the auto machine learning run. And as you can see, we say from Databricks import auto ML. And then we just say classify our training data frame. The target column that we wanna optimize is income. And here for demonstration purposes, it is limited to 30 minutes. So whatever it finds in 30 minutes, this will be our result. So, and we just say, go. Let's show the result. Should be up and running. And I suppose in the next seconds we should, yeah, here's our jobs. Now they start. ML flow automatically switches on. You see here in the experiment task, you already have here the first data available and the first one is taking place. Now I will switch over and I will be back with you in the next 30 minutes. See you in a second. And while we are waiting, just want to show you here, you get some comments that the trials for the training model on the dataset has been kicked off. The model will be optimized for the F1 score metric and you can track the complete trial in the MLflow experiment here. So you get the code where you can have a look at the different runs. And all rerun notebooks will lock the trials under the same experiment, and you can generate the notebooks contain the instruction to load the models. And as you can see here, since we're on a free uh, community edition from Databricks uh, Apache Spark, you see that we have here quite some time to run. Of course, if you look at the compute, we have here the free community edition. So we are running runtime 10 machine learning Apache Spark 3.2. Of course, we only have one node since it's the free version. So does it make sense to run this on one node? No, not at all. This is just for demonstration purposes that you see what you can do uh, with this, but you will have to spin up a Spark cluster of according to your needs. But what is interesting about this is if you go to the experiment tab, you see here that MLflow keeps track of all the runs. And if we go there, I guess we should have a look at the different versions of the different models that has already been executed for us. Oh yeah, that's nice. Showing 87 matching runs. Here you have the different runs. You have a notebook generated by each run, the model from a scikit learn, the version, and you can even have here training accuracy of F1 score classifier, all the different information, and I say sort by. What we wanted the validation score. Yeah, let's take the validation score. And where are we? Just to get give you an idea. So seven minutes ago we had an extreme G boost. And the training accuracy was dot eighty-eight and F1 score dot eighty-seven. Okay. Eight 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 seven. And if we use this, oh yeah, that's nice. You can do this here. Also within the matrix, training F1 score is 92. This is much nicer. 
And seven minutes ago, we had the run. And track machine learning training runs in an experiment. This is nice. And if we go back, you see here all the different runs. You can compare it, you can sort it. Now it is sorted according to date. But as you see, we will we are well within our 30 minutes, so we have a little bit to wait a little bit longer till this training run finishes. And since I'm doing this for the first time too, I'm very interested what Databricks AutoML will provide us with. It should provide us with a notebook. Then we can have our experiments. Maybe we can uh, append the code within the notebook to put in some, whatever you will call it, special knowledge about some correlation between the parameters, some in-depth knowledge, then we can save it. And we have a Panda data frame and a Spark data frame. Ah, I see. We have our test data frame and our training data frame, and we can just see how well the test performs. It's just an evaluation. We have here ML flow, load the model, that the best model, I suppose, that we trained. And then we just look at the plot, at the accuracy of whatever data set we have trained this model on. You remember our input data frame, we split to a da train data frame and a test data frame. And hey, it is done. 30 minutes passed by. And as you can see, not at all. All the time is... But after 30 minutes, I just stopped it for exploratory data analysis, opened the data exploration notebook to view the best performing model, opened the best trial notebook, and to view details about all trials, navigate to ML flow experiment. I suppose this is what we already have seen. We had a short look at. Yes. So this is our 86 matching runs. You can sort it according to your parameters. We get a notebook and let's say we have training F1. We have here a source notebook. And if we say, let's open this notebook, do we really get a Jupyter notebook with all the code? It looks like, yeah. Current notebook, yeah. Experiments UI, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Clone notebook. This is my model. This is download artifacts. This is the data frame. Numeric columns, one hot encoding, feature standardization, validation split, train the classification model. This is our classifier. Yes. That's our pipeline code. Maximum adapt. Child weight two subsample random state. Wow, nice. Feature importance, hey, sharp, nice. Okay, inference, model registry, nice. This is this is really a notebook. This is this is amazing. To you, the best performing notebook. It should be the same, more or less. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, this is the same that I just showed you. This is nice. And the metrics for the best trial we get here on F1 score validation and training overall score accuracy score the loss function okay that's nice help summary let's see what this will provide us with oh come on okay next step explore the notebooks if the metric looks good, skip directly to the inference section. Yeah, let's say that we are happy. But if you want to improve the model, go to the notebook and clone it. Edit the notebook as necessary. Improve the model with different hyperparameters. And when you are satisfied with the model, note the URI where the artifact is locked. Assign it to... Yes, of course, we say here. No, we are fine with the model after 30 minutes. So what do we do here? We'll test data frame to panda data frame income drop inbox. 
Ah, then we have ML flow, load the model, predict. And let's have a look. This is gonna take some seconds, I suppose. Spark jobs, income predicted, the predictions, Spark data frame. This is more or less. Ah, we have a Spark UDF. Okay, 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 okay. And then use the final model to make prediction on the holdout test to estimate how the model would perform in a production setting. The diagram shows the breakdown between correct and incorrect predictions. This is interesting. Let's have a look at this. Ah, okay. So we have the true label and the predicted label. We have an income above 50k and below 50k. Predicted label below 50k and above 50k. And we can see here the predicted label below 50k the true label is 241 hits bigger than 50k and bigger than 50k 59 hits but we have some outlines here with 10 and 30 but for 30 minutes auto run this is not bad at all this does not look bad at all so this is really interesting wow okay so you can take the panda data frame or you're operating on spark data frame you have your model registered you get a metric for the best trial of the model the ml flow experiments this is nice and all of this imagine all of this has been done simply by one liner automl classifier to train data frame the target you're looking for at a maximum time you would like to run this artificial system to come up with a result and i think for 30 minutes on one note <laughs> this is not bad at all this is not bad at all if you look at this very very nice so this was it also for me a first glance at what the new databricks auto ml system does provide us Remember, it was introduced in summer of 2021. And I hope if you are familiar with this, that you learned something new. And if, like me, you have seen this for the very first time, you can implement it in your workflow. You can play around with it and maybe it will be beneficial for your professional career. Thank you and I see you in the next video.